हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माई नेम इज़ आरती गोयल आई एम बैक विद न्यू चैप्टर इन ई वी एस दैट इज चैप्टर फोर द नेम ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इज रूट्स एंड फ्लावर्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट एज ए नो प्लांट्स आर ऑल्सो लिविंग बींग्स लाइक अस एंड एज वी नीड एयर वॉटर एंड फूड टू ग्रो सेम एज प्लांट्स ऑल्सो नीड एयर वॉटर सनलाइट टू ग्रो As in human body, different parts are there, and they work in different manner in the same way. Plants also have different parts for different work. They perform different functions. In addition to this, they also help plants to grow, obtain food, and make them stand in upward and straight position. Parts of a plant. Students, look at this picture. You will observe two main parts in the plant. root system and shoot system the part which remain under the ground is called root system and the part that grows above the ground is called shoot system below the soil we have roots and above the soil we have main stem branch leaf flower and fruits plants have different parts and each part has different role to play like flower flower helps helps in reproduction leaf perform photosynthesis okay students do you know about photosynthesis what is photosynthesis a process by which leaf prepare food for the whole, uh, whole plant in the presence of sunlight as uh, our mother prepare food for us same as leaf prepares food for the plant fruit fruit protects the seeds stem supports the plant root absorb water and minerals so that's all about parts of a plant now next is types of roots plants have two types of roots that is tap roots and fibrous roots first we will see tap roots in tap root one main roots grows vertically downwards into the soil there are some smaller and thinner roots along the sides which is called root hair we can see these roots in carrot neem and mango etc second is fibrous roots these roots are a cluster of roots that are spread into the root into the soil it has no main root fibrous roots don't go deep into the soil these roots are found in wheat grass rice maize etc now functions of roots what are functions of roots roots hold the plant firmly to the ground roots bind the soil and prevent it from soil erosion roots help a plant to absorb water and minerals from the soil now modified roots what are modified roots in some plants roots perform special task they go through changes in structure to perform more functions these changes are called modification and these roots are called modified roots some modified roots are first storage roots in few plants the extra food is stored in tap root for the future like carrot beetroot radish turnip etc the food is stored in the form of carbohydrate that is sugar starch etc we also eat these roots as vegetables because these are good source of carbohydrates roots of asparagus and pumpkin store water roots of sweet potato are used during summer and when there is extreme shortage of food or drought that is long period of little rainfall second roots for support some roots are modified to provide additional support to the tree or plant and to help it to stand straight there are four types of support roots prop roots steel roots buttress roots and climbing roots first we will see prop roots prop roots are aerial roots of trees they hang from the heavy branches and grow vertically downward and penetrate the soil a banyan tree has prop roots second is steel roots 
Steel roots are aerial roots that grow from the lower part of the stem and give additional support to a plant. Some examples of steel roots are maize, sugarcane and palm trees. Third is buttress roots. Buttress roots are found in trees that grow in areas where the soil is not very rich in water and minerals. As the trees grow bigger and taller, their roots cannot provide enough support. So buttress roots grow from the trunk of the tree sticking out at the base on the top of the ground to provide additional support. They also absorb extra nutrients from the soil. For example, fig tree and yellow carabin. Climbing roots. These roots are also aerial roots. Some plants like beetle, long pepper and black pepper have climbing roots. These roots have the plants to climb up the support which can be other tree or wall etc. Fourth is breathing roots. Breathing roots are found in plants that grow in salty water and marshy regions. The soil in these regions has little air. Therefore, the roots of these plants grow vertically above the water to absorb air. For example, mangroves. So, that's all about roots. Now, we will study about flowers. Students, as you know, most plants bear flowers. They are called flowering plants. Flowers are of different types, color, shape, size and smell. They may be single or grow in bunches called blossoms. Plants that do not produce flowers are called non-flowering plants. For example, palms, mosses, ferns and pines. Now, types of flowers. Students, uncountable number of flowers are found in nature. On the basis of season, the plants bloom flowers can be of the following types. First is annuals. These flowering plants complete their life cycle in one year. For example, zinnia, marigold and petunia. Second is biennials. Flowering plants that complete their life cycle in two years are called biennials. In the first year, these plants produce leaves and in the second year, their flowers bloom. For example, sweet william, prime rose and bell flower. Third is perennial. Perennial plants that complete their life cycle in three or more years. For example, lavender, datura and lobelia. Fourth is seasonal flowers. They grow in particular season like tulips, daffodils and carnations. Bloom in spring, dahlia, petunia and pansy are winter flowers, marigold, sunflower and salvia flower during summer. Now, next topic is parts of a flower. All flowers grow from buds. Buds after opening change into flowers. A flower has four main parts sepals, petals, stamen and pistil. We will study this in detail. You can see a flower and its parts. So basically a flower has four main parts that is sepals, petals, stamen and pistil. Pedicel is the part of flower that attaches the flower to the stem. Sepals are the green leaf like structure which protect the flower when it is a bud. Petals are the colorful and center part of a flower. Stamen. Stamen is the male part of the flower and it consists of anther and filament. Filaments are the stalk which support the anther. Anther contains pollen grains. That is a dust type of structure. Now, pistil. Pistil is the female part of the flower that consists of stigma, style and ovary with ovule. Stigma is the upper upper part of the structure. Pistil that is the sticky structure. Now the long neck type of structure is called the style. The lowest part of pistil that is the base of pistil is ovary that contain one or many eggs. These are known as ovules. So, here you can easily understand the flower and its 
parts so now pollination what is pollination the transfer of pollen grains from the male part to the female part is called pollination why is pollination important pollination is important because it leads to the production of fruits we eat and seeds that will create more plants there are various factors that are responsible for pollination as air birds and insects they transfer the pollen grains from the stem and to the pistil now uses of flowers flowers are not only important for plant but also useful to us in many ways some flowers we eat as vegetables like broccoli cauliflower and moringa flowers which is also known as drumstick some flowers are used as spices like cloves saffron and capers some have some flowers have medicinal values such as tulsi passion flower and calendula they are used for making medicine flowers like chrysanthemum rose jasmine lilies lavender have very good smell so they are used for making perfumes flowers are used for making organic colors garlands hair ornaments and are offered to deities means to god flowers are used to decorate homes by making rangolis during festivals or functions flowers are used as motifs carved in stone or wood on monuments and as prints on clothes and furnishings now flowers from the market the person who sell flowers in the market is called florist they buy flowers from a wholesale market or mandi some flowers are not found in our country so they are brought from other countries also some florist make beautiful garlands and sell them so children you can see flowers are one of the most beautiful creation of nature so we should take care of them we should not pluck, pluck them without any reasons so in this lesson you have studied about parts of plant different types of fruits flowers and types of flowers okay students try to learn the difficult words of this lesson thank you